Pro Sound and Light Show offers a premium service to our clients called the Love Story. The Love Story is the story of how you and your fiance met and fell in love. We interview you and your fiance separately and take those accounts and put them together into the story of how you met and fell in love. We share this with your guests just before your first dance on your big day. You may laugh, you may cry, your guests will certainly be entertained, and you may hear a story or two from a perspective you haven't heard it from before. Love Story is provided free with our Diamond experience and can be added on to our Diamond DJ package. There is a prayer that draws many together in the mutual bond of love and support. The serenity prayer says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Courage to change life for the better is what draws a man and a woman together. With the help of friends, the outreach of Facebook, and the strength to stay committed to personal goals and values, two people found their happily ever after. We've come here today to celebrate the marriage of Melissa and Francis. Earlier today, we were witness to their first promises sealed with the first kiss as husband and wife. In a few moments, we will watch Melissa and Francis share their first in a lifetime of dances together. However, before there was a wedding date, before there was a perfect flowers and a lovely dress, before there was a beautiful ring on Melissa's left hand, there was a story. This is Francis and Melissa's love story. Terry Goodsky was trying very hard to find a good man for his co-worker, Melissa. They shared an office and had been friends for several years, working and attending powwows together. Terry could see Melissa was not having very good luck finding the right man. Terry finally said, all right, let me see who I can find here on my Facebook friends. As he scrolled through his hundreds of friends, yes, no, well, maybe, Melissa spotted Francis on Terry's Facebook page, but he happened to be on Terry's no list. <laughs> Something about Francis, however, caught Melissa's eye. Ignoring Terry's advice, Melissa went home to search for Francis on Facebook. When she found him, she was delighted to see he was single. Born in 1972, just like she was, and could tell his profile picture, uh, tell by his profile picture that he was quite handsome. After stalking Francis on Facebook, <laughs> Melissa sent him a private message which simply said, Hi, how are you? Francis replied, I'm sorry, but do I know you? <laughs> Melissa messaged back that he did not know her, but she thought he was very cute. Francis appreciated the compliment and also wanted her to know that he was living a sober lifestyle and that he chose friends based on their ability to accept him and live sober as well. Melissa couldn't believe it. She was so happy and surprised because she too lived that life of sobriety. She immediately messaged him back and shared her story with him. He also wanted a life focused on clean living, prayer, and support. After messaging each other for a while, they decided to meet in person to see if there were any sparks between them. Melissa went to meet Francis for the first time at the Fond du Luth Casino, where he worked at the front door as a security guard. Francis was very flirtatious, talkative, and friendly. Melissa loved his sense of humor. Francis was immediately drawn to Melissa's, uh, Melissa for her beautiful eyes. There were definitely sparks. Melissa and Francis spent some time just hanging out before the couple, uh, for a couple of weeks before Francis asked her on their first official date. They attended a wedding at Ingrid Tower, and it was so beautiful, the weather was perfect. The, the flowers were in full bloom. After the wedding, they had lunch at Chopsticks Inn. Melissa was nervous and barely noticed the food. Francis's cousin joined them for lunch, which added to Melissa's nerves. A bright spot of the day, was when Francis unexpectedly won $500. It was Fond du Lac Reservations and Rolly Day, and Francis was a big winner at the event. When they went to claim their prize, Melissa met his mom and brother, and many more of Francis's friends. It was a lot of fun, and Melissa was really impressed 
with how friendly and well-liked Francis was. With $500 burning a hole in his pocket, Francis and Melissa went to Black Bear. Francis shared his winnings with Melissa and his niece and nephew, and they all played slots. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa could see how, uh, how very generous Francis was, and that he had a big heart. Francis didn't just win money that day, he won Melissa's heart. For the next year and five months, Melissa and Francis dated and really got to know one another. Francis knew Melissa was the one for him when he realized he could no longer live without her. She just brought out the best in him. Melissa loved Francis more and more each day. They knew they were going to spend their lives together. It was simply a matter of when to take the next step. Melissa returned home one day to find a card with her name handwritten on the envelope in the mail. Wondering what, she, what it was, she opened to find a note that read, which of these rings do you like? Melissa was where a proposal was coming someday, but she was surprised to discover that Francis was looking for rings. Melissa asked Francis to pick out the ring for her, so he did. On October 26th, Francis went to the mall and selected Melissa's engagement ring. He then called her and told her to act surprised when he gave it to her. <laughs> Francis took Melissa to the Rose Garden in Duluth. He had a red rose, a card, and a beautiful ring for the woman that stole his heart. Francis told Melissa how much he loved her. He held out the ring and asked her to marry him. Melissa, of course, said yes. On a sunny but cold fall day, that they sat in the gazebo overlooking Lake Superior and began planning the rest of their lives together. They deserve it. Now, in her own words, Melissa says, Francis is the perfect man for me because he is serious about living a healthy, happy, sober life. We share a very similar past, so we know where we come from. We both see eye to eye on our spirituality because we both believe in Christian-based prayer. We both practice our traditional way of praying with tobacco, sweat lodge, and other ceremonies. Whenever we get the chance, we, f we feel that following both religious traditions is right for us, and that it's very, very hard to find. We are very spiritual people. We are powwow dancers, and we love the drum. We love to dance at powwows and, to, uh, and contemporary music. Francis is a very hardworking man and takes pride in his work which I love. He has a great sense of humor and always makes me laugh. More than anything, I trust him. I know that, he's, that he is a one woman kind of man and that he, that he values trust, respect, and commitment. Francis, I love you with all my heart and I am excited to share our lives together. Francis says to Melissa, Melissa is the perfect woman for me because I believe the creator put her in my life. I always prayed that I would meet someone like Melissa. Someone smart, beautiful, educated, who lived a sober lifestyle like I do. Lo and behold, she came along and we took off from there. Melissa, I love you and I am proud to stand next to you today as your husband. Yeah. So, here we are, sharing their love and lives celebrating an amazing friendship that has become an amazing marriage. We're here with their closest family and friends to laugh, to cry, to dance, and to celebrate as we wish them all the best that life has to offer. And now for that first dance. Aww. 